kind of way and do any kind of thing. And so with that being said, God uses situations to work things off of you. But like Lazarus, ultimately what's going to happen is he's going to call you forth. He's going to say, Lazarus! Then he's going to say, take them grave clothes off that person. They don't need that when they're going to fling them into their future. Amen? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. So... We need, faith is always a response to divine revelation. Faith is the confidence in what we hope for and the assurance about what we do not see. That's Mark 5 and 27. Faith is a distinctive touch. Amen? Yes. 1 Corinthians 4 and 20. We need power in the kingdom. I don't know if I had that one. Okay, thank you. Um, but we need, in the word, the word power in 1 Corinthians 4 and 20, for the kingdom of God is not based on talk. But of power. Yes. Yes. So you can talk a good game all you want to. Right. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Yeah. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. You've been around somebody yeah. since before, mm -hmm. and you're like, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. You know, you can get my properties. <laughs> have the Holy Spirit. Yes. So let me just say that. We already have the Holy yeah, Spirit. Yeah, yeah. So we have power. It's already been given to us. But are we going to receive it, accept it, and walk in it? Amen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I mean when I say that. That word power is dynamis. It's the ability to perform miracles. Yeah. It's power to achieve by applying the Lord's inherent ability. Isn't that good? I'm going to say that again. The ability to perform by applying the Lord's inherent ability. So it's not our ability. That's right. It's his ability in us. Mm -hmm. Working that thing. That's so right. when you have faith and you want to, and God is God yes, is giving yes. you a revealed word on something, that's God's power working in you. And ultimately what's gonna happen is the faith from your mouth is gonna line up with your heart. That's You're right. gonna be fully persuaded. That's and right. what that does is it, it, it pricks God's power to say, yes. boom, yes. and it shows up. Whatever yes. the manifestation is that you believe in God that's for. Right. Amen. Right. Woo! Give God a praise for that. Thank you, Jesus. So it's not just reasoning expressed by, expressed by words, but it's deeds showing power. I'm reminding of the Red Sea. That was a that was a show, a display of God's power. How many need their body healed? You need a display of God's power, amen? You need God to go before you. All right, the last thing is call. The call to his presence, the face-to-face. -face. And I am getting this. I don't think I gave this to you, Tracy. But you can go back and read it, write it down. It's Exodus 25 and 35. But I do, if you have it, um, want to read Romans 8, 28. If I take my seat. Help me hold those. <clears throat> the last C we're going to need is the call. And we know, I'm sorry, I feel like I'm going to And we know with great confidence that God who is deeply concerned about us. Come on, give God praise for that. Yes. Deeply concerned about us. Come on, glory to God. He causes all things to work together as a plan. Come on, God got a plan. He's not trying to figure your life out. He knows the end from the beginning. He got a plan for you, amen? You just have to succumb to the plan, amen? You got to hear what his voice and thus saying the Lord is to the plan. And let me say this. You have to get that with a clear and a sober mind. Move past your emotions and hear what the plan is so that you can strategically move forward in God. Amen. When I was going through what I went through, yes, you got to feel to heal. I had to feel every single thing that I felt about infidelity, about being hurt, about being betrayed and all that. But how many know that's not my story? That's right. My story don't end like that. Right. Okay? So I had to get a clear mind. So now I'm like, okay. Thank you, yeah. Jesus. I'm yeah. just going in and out, finding passion. Thank yep. you, Pastor yep. Johnson and yep. Prophetess Johnson. I'm going in and out, finding passion. Now God can fling me into my future. Amen. God got a plan for you. So don't let the devil tell you nothing else. Don't let people put you down. Don't let people keep you stuck in your past. Glory to God. Hey, glory to God. Don't live in shame and embarrassment of what you have gone through. Allow God. Fling you into your Fling it. Fling it. Let him 
them fling you into your yes. future. And I'm telling you something. Shame, shame will keep you bound. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The Bible said there is therefore now no condemnation to those that are in Christ Jesus. What does that mean? It means that you need to confess something. Because if you confess it, you're going to beat the devil to the punch. And, when you, and you're done. He can't bring that thing to your face no more. Yep. Mm -hmm. I was cheated on. I was bad with my finances. I didn't know what I was doing. I was hurt. I was busted. I was disgusted. I wanted to run that man over with a truck. My kids was torn down. I was mad. I was bitter. I was. A, I beat him to punch. Yeah. Take away the power from That's the situation. Right. Then right. you're not around here like Adam and Eve trying to fit with yourself. You know, you got mask on and you can't worship and you can't get your praise on That's because right. you in shame. That's right. No, that's not God's will for your life. Right. He can't fling you into your future like that. You got to be willing to lay it down. Put it on the altar. Let that stinky flesh burn up and move out into your future and what God has for you. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right, you're talking about the problem. But we know with great confidence that God, who is deeply concerned about us, causes all things to work together as a plan for what? For good. For bad. For good. For, good. for mediocre. For, good. for what? For good. Okay, for good. For those who love God, y'all love God? Amen. Okay, to those who are called according to his plan and his purpose. We are called according to God's purpose in the kingdom of God. The king is on the throne. Yes. Amen. Yes. He hasn't forgotten about us. Amen. I know it's hot. Don't go to sleep. Somebody can open the door for y'all. Don't yawn no more, Brother Al, because you're making me nervous. Okay. <laughs> call. <laughs> this call is to his presence. That's right. This call. Church. Right. Kingdom of God. I don't want to put nobody's eye out. The kingdom of God <laughs> is among us. Yes. Jesus is saying, I'm here. Yes. I'm walking up and down the house. Yes. Yes. Amen. I'm with you. I'm ready to, I need a word. I'm ready to like just pump this power in your life. Pump this power into you. Pump this wisdom into you. Pump these strategies into you because I'm among you. You are an ambassador. You are here on assignment for the Lord Jesus Christ. So if you don't go by these rules. You respect them and you honor them, but you live by those rules in heaven. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen? And so we have to reflect who he is um, in the Lord Jesus Christ. So this call is to his presence. This call, this word, this last word here, purpose, is where we're going in on. This word is prothesin. It's a setting forth. This word means yeah, the yeah. showbread. Showbread that was in the temple. Yeah. I was I was so blessed by Angie's um, word and presentation. And I was going to have a picture for you guys, but it got late. So, <laughs> and I fell asleep. <laughs> but I had an amazing time hanging out with my sisters yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So this word means showbread. Um, it means predetermination. It means purpose. Pro means before. Tithemi means perfect, purposely set forth. Before you went through all that, before you went through all you went through, there was a purpose and a design set forth for you. It is our responsibility to mine out our purpose, to mine out our lifestyle by design that God has for us in the kingdom. Everybody cannot be the same thing in the kingdom. Amen. Some, but somebody needs to be in the fivefold ministry. Yeah. Somebody needs the ministry of helps. Somebody needs the gift of faith. Yeah. Okay? And a lot of the little toes want to be yeah. the eyeball. Dude, you're not the eyeball. Okay? <laughs> All right. So, seriously, Jess, when you, when you take on, when I finally received who I was, I'm serious. Yeah. When I finally received who I was, I wanted to just be like, I'm going to serve back here. Okay, I'm going to be all right with that. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. I've dumbed myself down for years. I didn't allow my voice to be heard. I knew when Jezebel's spirit was working, but I wouldn't say something. So that meant I was in agreement with it. I allowed that thing to work in my life instead of saying, no, I am a pointer finger, and that is not God. And you need to stop it and quit doing that so that God can bless your life. He does not want to bring you into condemnation. He loves you and he wants to bless you and he wants to pull you out of sin. That's right. Amen. But we get so afraid of each other that we won't walk in what we're supposed to walk in in the kingdom. But then you know we end up, we end up looking like court jesters because we all are place. 
and we won't take the mask off and walk in the kingdom the way we're supposed to walk in the kingdom. What I hear in my spirit right now is God is saying, I'm calling you. I'm calling you. I'm calling you to come forward. I'm calling you. I'm moving you. I'm pulling on you to come forward. Amen. And it's not a thing of, oh, you know, you should be beyond trying to be seen. Don't nobody want to see you? <laughs> <laughs> we need God. That's right. Yes. When, when Elder B get up, I need the God. Her. Yeah. She is an amazing sister. And yes, we want to befriend each other and love on each other, but there's something in her that I might need today. Yeah. So it's not about me. Right. It's not about what I look like. We should be beyond that. There should be a maturity circulating oh, in the body of Christ that's, right. that's saying, that's right. no, we're beyond that. Yeah. God, what do you want to do today? What do you want to happen today? How do you want us to show up in the community today? Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. All right, let's finish up. I think my time is on two minutes. Now, um, this is a setting forth. It is our responsibility to mine it out, to mine out God's lifestyle by design for all of us. So we have to stop looking at men and look at God. This word showbread is God's willingness to commune with us. Say that. God is willing to commune with me. God is willing to commune with us. He's not in heaven with a baseball bat. Okay? All right? My sister was talking about all the rules and regulations. Thank God he just summed that thing up into two things and said, do this, all right? <laughs> love me with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. Because I'm with my sister, I would have been like, oh, Lord, I'm going to mess it up today, Jesus. They're going to stone me. <laughs> Dinner ain't done. Jesus, I'm out of here. <laughs> so... In the tabernacle, in the temple, <laughs> in the tabernacle, in the temple was the showbread on a wooden table, on a wooden table made of acacia wood, but it was covered in gold. It represents Jesus. It represents his humanity and his divinity. Okay. Yes. It also represents that he carries us through everything. Amen. Amen. Um, it was exposed before God. There was twelve loaves on this table, placed every Sabbath, eaten by the priest at the end of the week. This was called the bread of the presence. Or the bread of the face. Amen. And it was always before Yahweh. What it represents is man does not live by bread alone. So what Jesus is saying to us today is, I'm among you. You don't live by bread alone, but you live by every word that proceeds out of my mouth. Amen. Amen. So if you're struggling somewhere, get a word of God on that thing. Because you don't you don't just live by what you know. You live by every word that proceeds out of his mouth. Amen. Amen. So the table is Jesus, his humanity, his divinity. It was this foreshadowing of who he was. He was going to fulfill everything when he came. It is my continued, unbroken dependence on God. The showbread was set out before the face of the presence of God. We should be in the presence of God in his face. Amen? Amen. Um, having that glow, and people know that we've been with Jesus. This bread was unleavened, representing that Jesus had no sin. It was perforated, represented that Jesus was broken for us. And I love how the frankincense was in the room. That represents our prayer and our intercession. How many know we got to get back on the wall? Yeah. Because Florida was Florida, yes. but how many know you, that can happen yes. too? Right. Yes. We got to stop living in this thing like, oh my God, it can't happen or whatever. Yes. No, let's put some prayer on it. And That's then right. we can say, nope. That's right. No yes. evil shall befall us, nor come nigh our dwelling. Yes. We have called down heaven on that thing, and we believe you to protect us according to Psalm 91, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. So the intercessors, there's a call for intercessors to get Amen. on the wall. Now, wrapping it up. Now, we are the priests. So the priests ate the bread before God after a week. Um, they got it. They were able to eat that, but now we are the priests. We are to eat the word of God daily. We are to pray daily and be in God's presence, receiving revelation and respecting our communion with God, being refreshed regularly. A lot of times we get so busy and so tired, we are Amen. not refreshed because Amen. we have not been That's in right. the presence of God. Amen. The presence of God will refresh you like nothing else. Amen. Better than massage envy, spa envy, <laughs> whatever the name of it is. It will refresh you better than that. That's Jesus right. said, my peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, but as I give. Amen. And that's a peace that cannot be described. That's right. When I was walking through that tough time in my life, there was a peace that surpassed. I'm telling y'all, it just surpassed. I didn't have no understanding of it. I was just like, how? I don't know how I'm here. My mind should be snatched out and gone. I should be on some Prozac and some whatever kind of medicine it is. Because Lord, I don't punch somebody in the face. I don't act like that. I don't do that. But what happened? I was provoked. <laughs> 
I plead the fifth, and I'm sticking to it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, if you had a chick outside your house talking about what she was going to do, you might lose it a little bit, too. So, okay. All right. So, when y'all see me being blessed, just know that's the foolishness that I had to come through for the last three, four years. Amen? All right. Closing it. That's the preacher's third closing. That means I'm really sitting down. All right. Now. We are priests. We are to eat the word daily, pray daily, be in God's presence, receiving revelation, respecting our communion with God, being refreshed regularly. He hath made us. Somebody say, I've been made. I've been made. A priest and a king unto God. A priest and a king unto God. That's Revelation 1.6. We are approaching life and the word, uh, pro approaching our life with the word and prayer, fully walking in our purpose. Now. The showbread. What are you talking about? This showbread. This word, purpose, prophesis, before, and all of this, property, providence, literally a setting forth. God is setting you forth like the showbread. Amen. That's, what I, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying Amen. to boil it all down. Amen. You're the showbread now. Amen. You're to be face to face with God in His presence now. Okay? People are going to eat you as the bread. You are the broken bread. We are the broken bread. We are the wine, the oil, of the, the joy that people want to experience. Wine represents joy, amen? So we are the bread that people are going to eat because he is on the inside of us, amen? Amen. 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 So that's what I'm trying to say. And that word purpose, you got to be walking in your purpose. You got to accept your purpose. You got to say, I accept the call to be the showbread in the kingdom. It's not about me. It's about you. It's about souls being saved. Yes. It's about miracle, healing, deliverance, people yes. being set free. I will be the showbread. Jesus. Amen. Because I've been in your presence. I'm equipped. I'm qualified. I don't know it all, but I'm willing and I'm ready to go. Yes. Amen. Amen. Amen.